Alan, what have we got here? We've got one of our old favourites, Tom. Um, midi fishing tackle. It's uh, We thought it had gone. We thought it had finished completely. But um, it's been bought out now by uh, two lads. Um, and it's coming back. And um, first thing we've got from midi as we speak is the new two new polo dolls. But so these are like hard cases, aren't well, they? Yeah, sorry, hard cases. Not old. We still call them old dolls, but they're hard cases. I think we'll always call them an old doll because that's what we've had for but years. It, me and Mick Viles were talking about this. I call them a rod bag. I've never called them an old doll. A it, rod bag? Yeah, me and Mick call them rod bags. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, rod bags, to me, is the old cloth ones what you used to slide your 13-foot <laughs> rod in and then get them out. But no, the, the uh, hard cases are back, and I think whole dolls or rod cases, as you rod bags as you call them, Tom, I think they're their history now i think everything will be within the next five years will be a hard case yeah. whether it's for rods and poles and um the brilliant i think they're absolutely brilliant myself but um on a serious note midi are back they've got a load of new products coming out in the next few months to to christmas um and a few of the old favorites as well i think the reactor core elastic and the uh, the uh, uh, low vis line and stuff like that are going to be coming back plus there's going to be some new bits um and the poles for this year especially for this year they are bringing their poles back out and it's going to be the same range as what they had in the past so anybody who's got a midi pole don't worry about your spares or anything like that because when the new poles do come out later on in the next couple of months or whatever, they're going to be the same poles as what you've already got. So spares and everything, there's not going to be issue. But first thing in, uh, we've got from uh, MIDI is the new hard case, pole hard cases. Now, this is the XL one. Um, and as you can see on the uh, picture, you can fit four butt sections into one side or eight, eight sections in it in total if you wanted. So, like most midi poles, are um, 13 meter, 14 and 16 meters. So all of them will fit in one side nicely. You could put your short dolly butts in there as well, or your landing net pole in that side. And then in this side, you can put all your top kits and top fours and top fives and everything like that, what we use as well. But one of the key features on this new one, and it's something I didn't pick up on until I, uh, I've had a good look at it is they've actually put a bit of foam on the inside as well made it a bit so it's not just a hard case as in the hard plastic it's got a bit of protection and a bit of uh, sub, uh, thing there to keep your sections nice and um, padded as well so it's not a massive padding but it's enough to stop everything rattling around and getting scratched and things like that so for me that's a really good uh, thing the zips are really nice on it Zip up and down really easily. Look at them. Nice, nice big zips. Lovely. Nice, uh, nice tinge of colouring on it, which makes for me don't make them too blingy and gory. Um, you carry case, you carry handles, just same as on other ones basically. You can clip them together and carry it. And you also get is one. You get a strap as well to put it onto your shoulder. Okay. If, Got you. You, if you want to. So there's two sizes, are we, in this range? Yeah, so that's the XL one, as I said, but that's more for carrying your, your main pole in and all your top kits. And in there, as I say, you can fit two, two 16 meter full poles if you wanted, plus still some um, kits, or you can fit one 16 meter pole plus probably 20, 20 top kits in that one comfortably. Or even if you're. Uh, like a pleasure angler or something like that you could fit your pole in one side and you could put a couple of rods in the other side if you wanted made up you can fit you'd be able to fit a two-piece 12 foot rod in one of them so you can put a rod in it as well or your umbrella and landing net pole or something like that the other one what they've done tom is slightly smaller which is this one um same again nice hard case really rigid when it's to, when it's all zipped up Again, on the inside, you've got the little bit of padding, a centerpiece just to divide it, which has got a, a zipped compartment in it as well. So 
in that you could fit your landing net pole or a couple, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. couple of whips if you're into whipping and things like that. Are you into whipping, fam? No, no, I'm too old, mate, <laughs> for whipping. <laughs> I'm a pipe and slippers man now. <laughs> Just jump feed and that. Um, and as I said, you've got your straps as well for keeping everything um, tidy as well if you're... Uh, if you if you like that, if you like keeping things nice and tidy and whipping, you've got your straps. But uh, with this one, it's slightly shorter than the other one. So I would say this is more for top kits yep. or margin poles. So to be clear, standard section, what, 1.8 metres, can you fit it in there? No. Right, okay. Definitely so you can't not. fit your pole in there You can't as such. fit a 13... 13, 14 or 16 metre book section in the In the smaller, smaller one of the two, but right. like... A 10 or 11 metre margin pole yeah. fits in dead oh, easy. That's perfect for a lot of people who carry yeah. shorter poles, isn't it? Yeah, or if you just go pleasure fishing and you go on your local uh, cart fishery, or you've just got a cart pole and a, uh, a, a full length pole, at least you can keep them separate. And if you're not going to the two same venue where you need both poles, at least you know which is in each, in each case then. But same features again, you're padding on it, nice zips all the way around. Uh, carry strap and handles on it so but it's mainly for top kits and uh, margin poles is this one brilliant how much are they both Al? um i think that one is there were some prices on them somewhere it was somewhere mate yeah well, not on that one's one. about one i think the 119 and yeah. 129 each so yeah. the competitively priced with everybody else's but um it's great news that MIDI are back. I use MIDI poles. I think they're fantastic myself. I love MIDI products. And uh, it's a company that's been around for years and years. And I think it's part of the fishing industry is MIDI because they've been around for forever since I were a kid and went fishing. So, um, yeah, just keep, keep an eye on this channel and we'll be doing some more reviews in future of the new products as they come in and out.